Ancina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to my channel. This video will be a what's in my bag video for the Vera Bradley Small Vera Tote. This particular one is in the Winterberry pattern. So, nice purse size bag. You can see it fits really easily on his shoulder. You can hold it, you can do whatever. Nice. The handles stay on your shoulder pretty well, although depending on what I'm wearing, sometimes they slide off a little bit. Um, but nice strap drop, it works really well. Right on the front of the bag, there is a zipper and a slip. I left this open because I wanted to remember to talk about it. So inside this one, as opposed to a previous small Vera I showed in a fireworks paisley a while back, this version has the grommet and the keep charged pocket in there. So there's sort of a pocket slip within the pocket. So you can put your battery pack there and then your cord can go through and you can put your phone here to charge. Pretty convenient. I haven't ever actually used that. In fact, I usually don't put much in there, but I have a tech pouch with my external battery and cords that I just have been storing right there in the front. So what that's worth, that's what's in that part of my bag. There is a pocket right here on the top with like that hidden pocket. That's usually where I put my phone. I have the 6S Plus and it fits nicely right into there completely, but yet it's easily accessible. Um, some bags have a magnet there. This particular one doesn't, so it's just there. Uh, the top is a zipper closure, so you open that up. The zipper pulls are the faux leather loops on all the zippers, actually. Speaking of zippers, this is that awful metal one that we hate, but since I don't go in and out of that pocket much, if ever, then it's, it doesn't really bother me, but I have avoided buying bags with that. So I am happy that they are going away from that now. So that's good, but that's not for this discussion. Okay, so inside I have a variety of Vera accessories. Um, so we'll just jump right in. I have the honor roll case. This one is in Winterberry as well. This one has all my mints and things, but the bag itself has this pouch up here, which I don't have anything in, obviously. Um, and then the roll part has just like little mints and tins, different things. So it does have a magnet closure right here in the middle, so it stays wrapped up on itself. Fits really nicely in the bag, so not that. I've got a small cosmetic. This is in black microfiber. It's outlet style, so it's pretty plain, and it has a loop. This one has just all my miscellaneous, you know, some... Um, some medications, there's not really much makeup, but there's some like little travel mascara and some chapstick and things like that, band-aids, whatever. If you've seen any of my videos, you've already seen the contents more than once, but there you go. This is a non-Vera case, but just a neoprene glasses case, so that just happens to be in there. I actually like this with the colorful tree. It goes nicely with this set. And I have a turn lock wallet, and this is in blue microfiber, classic navy. Um, I'm using this one because I don't have one in black. So inside it has the dots, um, moon blooms. There you go. This is an older turn lock, so it has the full rectangular turn lock, not like the newer style that has like a crescent shaped one. I'm not particularly fond of those. I don't have any of them, but I do like the old style ones. Back part of the wallet holds a ton of stuff, lots of slots. Let's see, I have stuff in there. And then the coin slot on the back. So, turn lock wallet. I've got my non Vera card case. I have a small notebook. This is actually Vera Springtide Navy. Got pencil, an eraser, and a multi pen. Those are all the slips inside. I'll show you in a sec. My key fob for my truck. There are six slip pockets inside. There's my business cards in the little Vera business card thing. This one's in lilac medallion. Then I have the rest of my keys. And that should be everything. So inside you have three slip pockets on each side. The interior is a coordinating pattern. It is not quilted in, but it is tacked in. It is that nylon version, so it's before they went back to the cotton style, but um, it does work well for this bag. So that is what's in my bag. And I'm gonna leave all this out because the very next thing I'm gonna do is 
try out my new performance twill small backpack so that's coming up next bye for now